Hello, welcome back to the crypto update. As of today, Bitcoin, BTC, continues to be under pressure, although it continues to avoid falling below $40,000. Indicators of the US economy influenced Bitcoin's price on Friday. On the other hand, a late comeback was helped by a solid session for the NASDAQ Composite Index. BTC rose 0.85% on Friday, closing the day at $41,686. Bitcoin reached a session low of $40,290 as a result of a significant change in consumer mood in the United States. Investors are required to take into consideration SEC action, news linked to the SECV, cryptocurrency litigation, and news relating to Bitcoin spot EDFs on Saturday. The price of Bitcoin drops below $41,000 as a result of an increase in consumer sentiment in the United States. On Friday, Bitcoin had a rise of 0.85%. Bitcoin finished the day at $41,686, somewhat correcting a decline of 3.41% from Thursday's closing price. Importantly, Bitcoin, BTC has once again reached a price below $41,000 for the second time since December 18th. U.S. consumer sentiment surprisingly during the month of January. On Friday, U.S. consumer confidence statistics for January startled the markets. The Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index increased from 69.7 to 78.8 in January. Investors decreased bets on a March Fed rate drop this week, testing buyer demand for BDC. According to the CME Fed Watch tool, the likelihood of a March Fed rate decrease fell from 76.9% to 48.1% throughout the week. However, BDC mirrored the NASDAQ Composite Index through the session, closing the day with gains. On Friday, the NASDAQ Composite Index gained by 1.70%. BDC spot EDFs remained a focus point for investors on Friday. Trading volumes continued to rise following a substantial fall on day three of BDC spot ETF trading. Bloomberg Intelligence CDF analyst Eric Balkunas provided trading volumes for day six for the nine authorized BDC spot ETFs, the nine. Significantly, the Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin Trust, FBTC, went ahead of the shares Bitcoin Trust, IBIT, for the first time since debut. The Bitcoin Fear and Greed Index jumped from 51 to 52 on Saturday. Significantly, the index stayed in the neutral zone, signifying near-term uncertainty. A move into the greed zone would provide positive signs. SEC regulatory scrutiny and U.S. legislator rhetoric continue impacting buyer desire for cryptos. However, reducing expectations on a March Fed rate rise might potentially affect near-term BTC price movements. Bitcoin analysis, BTC remained below the 50-day EMA while hovering above the 200-day EMA. The EMAs confirm negative near-term but positive longer-term price indications. A BTC breakthrough from the 50-day EMA would support a move to the $42,968 resistance level. On Saturday, SEC-related action and BTC spot ETF-related changes demand scrutiny. However, a decline below the Friday low of $40,290 would put the $39,861 support level into play. The 14 daily RSI reading, 43.07, implies a BDC slide to the $39,861 support level before entering oversold territory. Ethereum analysis, EV remained well above the 50 day and 200 day EMAs, indicating positive price indications. An ED rebound to the $2,500 handle would allow the bulls a run at the $2,650 resistance level. ED spot ETF-related discussion requires scrutiny. However, a break below the $2,457 support level would support a fall to the 50-day EMA. The 14-period daily RSI at 55.05 implies an ETH rise to the $2,650 barrier level before entering overbought territory. Thank you for watching Crypto Update Channel. Goodbye.